<laughs> there were times when I was starting out as a, as a psychiatrist or as a doctor, and the, and the patients would call me doctor, and I'd feel like giggling. I mean, it just felt <laughs> so weird. And, uh, and here we go. At our next session, Sherry entered my office in a red cocktail dress and matching pumps. <laughs> <laughs> she seemed to bubble with joy, like a newlywed in love. As she sat down, she saw the Rolex on the coffee table and became serious. I pushed the watch toward her and said, Sherry, there are rules in therapy. No gifts. You're no. returning my watch? Fine. Then how dare you? You seduced me. What are you talking about? Oh, please. You stared into my eyes and had sex with me, you and your sexy stare. I could be pregnant for all I know from your raping, peering eyes. <laughs> I had been taught to maintain eye contact as patients spoke as a way to express interest and empathy and to try to listen and not interpret. I was dumbfounded. Sherry had experienced my eye contact as a sexual assault. She was more than a neurotic housewife. She was talking crazy. Having sexual intercourse by looking into someone's eyes sounded more like a psychotic losing touch with reality than an angst-ridden woman expressing her neurotic woes. Let's slow down here, Sherry. She stood up an inch toward the coffee table. You should have thought about that before you looked into my eyes. Confused, I stood up too. My heart was pounding as she moved forward around the coffee table and I backed away toward the door. Was she going to grab me, embrace me? She was acting insane, and I had lost control of the session. Sherry, sit down, let's talk about this. Her face reddened with rage. How dare you give me back my gift? That came from my heart. Sherry, I, I didn't mean to hurt you. It's just that there are rules for therapy. Therapy? Therapy? Suddenly, she lunged forward and slapped my face hard. She was about to strike me again when I grabbed her wrist and said, that's enough. This meeting is over. I quickly left the office and retreated down the hall. Well, I gotta tell you, that, that guy was upsetting for me just to read that scene. It was, you know, it was kinda, I, I didn't say she, she knocked the giggles out of me, that patient, when that happened. It was really a rude awakening. And I very quickly fired my supervisor, who really didn't have a clue as to what was going on. I, I got some better supervision and uh, figured out that, that Sherry you know, didn't have the typical neurosis or problems in living. She had a condition that you, you might have heard about. It's called borderline personality disorder. And this is basically uh, people, it's a very difficult condition, where they uh, live in the borderland between you know, normal, everyday anxiety and you know, distortions with reality where they're actually psychotic. And when they're under stress, they seem more psychotic than more normal. And there's